Greetings friends and welcome to Sunday School. You might be wondering where I am. I'm here on our beautiful campus. I'm kneeling down in the grassy area just outside of McNaughton Hall. And I wanted to start here because in this very place where I am, the sun has dried out the grass. And if you notice, it's browned next to a little bit of green. And I wanted to talk to you here to begin our story here in this place because we're talking about the continuing story of Joseph and his brothers, the sons of Jacob. And when we last met Joseph, he had been left by his brothers, sold into slavery. They left him in a hole. And now today's story is going to be about forgiveness. So follow me as they traveled from this place in Canaan, where Jacob and his sons, the family, and all the people are experiencing famine, not enough to eat. And they travel and they meet Joseph, their brother, whom they do not recognize. So join me as... I'm ready to tell this story of Joseph and his brothers. Give me a little moment here. I'm going to make a little quick change. It's a coat of many colors. They don't shine very brightly, but they'll help do the job along with my colorful outfit, right? So here we go. Here now, the story of a surprise visit. So when the traders who had bought Joseph from his brothers arrived in Egypt, they sold Joseph to an officer of Pharaoh, the ruler of Egypt. Joseph did well, but the officer's wife tricked Joseph and he ended up in jail. While he was there, he helped some prisoners understand their dreams. When Pharaoh had dreams that he couldn't understand, one of the prisoners who was now free remembered how Joseph had helped him. So Pharaoh sent for Joseph and he told him his dreams. God was with Joseph and he helped him explain the dreams to Pharaoh. Your dreams mean that there will be seven years when there will be plenty of food and then there will be seven years when no food will be grown. Pharaoh, he was very impressed with Joseph, and he put him in charge of planning for the seven years without food. So during the seven years when there was lots of food, Joseph stored up extra grain so he would be ready for the seven years when there was no food. At the end of the years with lots of food, there was a terrible famine that came over all the land, even in Canaan, where Joseph's family lived. And only in Egypt did the people have food to eat because Joseph had helped them. People from other places, they came to Egypt to buy food. They had to meet with Joseph first to get permission. So one day, Joseph's brothers came to Egypt to buy food. When they were brought to Joseph, they didn't know who he was. They didn't recognize their own brother. They wondered, they only knew that this person in front of them had the power to say that they could buy grain or not. Although Joseph recognized his brothers right away, he didn't tell them who he was. He wondered if they were sorry about what they had done to him. As Joseph talked with his brothers, he realized that they had changed. But he still didn't tell them who he was. However, they were allowed to buy grain and to take it back to Canaan. The next time Joseph's brothers came to Egypt, Joseph sent everyone out of the room so that he was alone just with his brothers. And when they were all alone, Joseph said, I am Joseph, your brother. Tell me about our father. Is he well? 
his brothers, they stared at Joseph. They couldn't believe it. What will he do to us? They were wondering because they had treated him so unkindly. Will he be refused to give us more grain? Will he punish us? <laughs> and what did Joseph say? He said, do not be afraid. We've heard this phrase a lot in our biblical stories. Do not be afraid. You treated me badly, but God has watched over me here in Egypt and everything is worked out. <laughs> With joy, Joseph and his brothers, they kissed and they hugged each other. And he told them, go back to Canaan now and bring my father and all your families to live here in Egypt. You will have plenty of food and a place to live and fields for your flocks of animals. Joseph's brothers were worried that the unkind thing that they had done to him, that he would remember that first and foremost and treat them in the same way. But no, not Joseph. He realized that they could change. In this story, we heard that he talked to them and he realized they had changed. My friends, that is forgiveness. Forgiveness is to understand that where a person might have been at one time, what they thought or how they treated you at one time, as time passed, they may not treat you that way today. Allow that we all can grow. Forgiveness. Please pray with me. Know this. Dear God, we thank you that when we are able to forgive, when we are able to get along together, we recognize that you are in us and with us. May we always live in your love and share that love with others. Amen.